Hey peeps, welcome back to the Growth Lab podcast. I'm your host, Matt Harris, and I run the Growth Lab, a lead generation consultancy for commercial cleaning businesses. In today's episode, we're going to talk about creating offers so good that they cannot be ignored. Before generating any leads or sales, your cleaning business needs to start a conversation with prospective clients. Making the right offer to your ideal client allows you to do this. For tips on lead generation and insights on the most successful strategies, tools, and tactics to grow your commercial cleaning business, sign up for the Growth lab newsletter by the link in the episode description Are you ready let's dive in One of the most common problems that I faced when I was growing my commercial cleaning business was ad conversions. If our ads were not converting well, we had trouble closing sales, and as a result, we had difficulty scaling. I now know that the problem was the offer we were making to prospects. What I've learned from Alex's framework is that you need to make offers so good that they cannot be ignored. Instead of changing the cleaning service that your business provides, you need to start making $100 million offers. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply Alex's framework to your commercial cleaning business so that you can get more clients and grow. Ready? let's jump in. To catch a fish, you need bait. Having offers so good your clients can't ignore you is the number one driver for success in any advertising campaign. Before generating any leads or sales, your commercial cleaning business needs to start opening conversations with prospective clients. Making an offer allows you to do this. It's the starting point of any conversation that initiates a transaction with a potential client. An offer sets out the service and the value that you're providing to clients in exchange for payment. If you're watching this video, I can guarantee that right now your cleaning business is offering a commoditized service. When a prospective client looks for a cleaning service, check the market and compare services based on price. If your cleaning business charges £20 per hour for office cleaning, it's very likely that another cleaning business is offering the same service for £15 an hour. However, with the right offer, you can decommoditize your service and create a category of one. By doing this, you're asking prospective clients to make a value-based decision instead of a price-based decision. If you make your offer so unique, it won't be constrained by price. You're able to sell your offer one-on-one with a prospective client. Your cleaning business doesn't compete with anyone else, which protects your margin and gives you a host of competitive advantages. The goal of fixing your offer is to decommoditize what you sell. This leads to more leads, higher prices, bigger profits. In your commercial cleaning business, you don't need to change the services that you provide. You need to change how you position your service. Now, if you're getting value from this video, please make sure you hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm can work its magic and recommend it to other people who find it useful. Thank you very much. In my experience, a classic contract structure for commercial cleaning business is a monthly retainer. That monthly retainer includes X number of hours cleaning per day times by an hourly rate times the number of days in the month. The sum of that calculation gives you the cost of the monthly retainer. This is a commoditized model. Clients can compare your prices with others in a competitive market. As a consequence, it's difficult to make money. And I know because I've been there. When a client changes their cleaning service, seven times out of 10, it's because of the quality of the cleaning. You want to avoid continuing that standard and start your service from a clean slate. But what often happens is the client terminates the contract for one cleaning service and the new cleaning service is immediately brought in just to continue providing the same schedule of cleaning. What you want to do is switch up your offer so that with every new office cleaning contract, they have to have a mandatory deep clean. Pack this deep clean full of value. Include carpet cleaning, floor buffing, high level cleaning, window cleaning, whatever is required to bring the office back to a good standard of cleanliness, which you can use as a platform to provide your cleaning service. In return, the client pays a setup cost, which covers the cost of the deep clean and the cost of setting up your cleaning service at that office. Off the back of that, you charge a weekly rate base number a set number of hours cleaning per week instead of a cost per hour now you've decommoditized your offer because clients have got nothing to compare it to you're operating in a category of one this gives you the opportunity to increase the response rates to your advertising and marketing close more sales increase cash up front collected for every new client and get paid to acquire new customers getting paid to acquire new customers means you no longer need a marketing budget instead you can use that money to invest in your operations and infrastructure to provide an exceptional cleaning service and scale your business Thanks for listening to the Growth Lab podcast. You can access the show notes and resources via the link in the episode description. And if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with others who you think will find it useful across social media or leave a rating and review on whatever podcast platform you listen to. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am underscore Matt Harris. That's M A T H A R R I S to catch all the latest from the Growth Lab and insights on how to generate leads for your cleaning business.